So if you saw my last video, I talked about five reasons why you should buy a home in 2023. I think some people might've watched that and was like, hmm, you're just saying that because you're a realtor. As a real estate agent, I'm always gonna advocate for people to buy real estate. Why? Because I strongly believe that real estate is such a great wealth generator. If you take the life of someone who has purchased a home versus the life of someone who has never purchased a home, take their lives, fast forward 20 years later, I can bet that the person who bought a home will most likely have a way better life and a higher net worth compared to the person who never bought real estate. Yes, buying real estate is a great idea if someone can afford to. Are there times when buying real estate isn't a great idea? Absolutely. In this video, I'm gonna name five reasons why you should not buy a home in 2023. If this is your first time here on my channel, what's up? My name is Jeremy Mateo. I'm a real estate broker and investor here in Hawaii. I've helped numerous clients, including myself, buy and sell real estate on the island of Oahu. So if you're on the fence about buying real estate, I hope that at the end of this video, you'll come to one of two conclusions. One is that you're like, hmm, okay, yeah, I think I should buy real estate. Or two, you'll be like, eh, I should not buy real estate this year. All right, so the number one reason why you should not buy a home in 2023 is number one, you do not have extra funds. This is an important one. So when you buy a home, you're gonna need at least a three to 5% down payment. You're also going to need some closing costs. Closing costs cost around one to 1.5% of the purchase price. But you're also going to need some extra funds for reserves. These reserve funds are basically for your savings so that you know if an emergency comes up, you have some money to take care of it. You do not want to buy a home if your bank account is at zero. What's the point of living in a beautiful home if you're just going to be eating ramen noodles every night or you're just sleeping on the floor? What happens if there's an emergency and you have no money? You're basically f But hey, you bought your first home, so who cares? So a good rule of thumb that I like to tell my clients is that if you're gonna buy a home, at least have the money for your down payment, at least have the money for your closing costs, and at least have the money for six months worth of reserves. So for example, if you're gonna buy a home that the price is $500,000, you're gonna need, let's say, a 5% down payment, which is $25,000. Then you're gonna need around $7,500 for the closing costs. And if your monthly payments are about 2,900, you're gonna need six months worth of that. So basically around 17 to $18,000 saved. So in total, if you're buying a $500,000 home, you must have at least $50,000 in your bank account to make this purchase and still be comfortable. If you don't have that, you might wanna reconsider buying for now. All right, second reason why you should not buy a home in 2023 is if you're gonna relocate soon. If you're gonna buy a home this year and you know you're gonna relocate within the next three years, you should not buy a home only if you're not okay with renting it out after you move. But let's say you do move and you are okay with renting out the home, then go for it. I think that's a cool idea because essentially this becomes your first rental property. However, some people are not okay with this because sometimes the mortgage payment can be a bit higher compared to the market rent. So in this case, just plan ahead. Think to yourself, okay, I'm gonna buy this property. Now, do I see myself moving within the next three years? If yes, am I okay with renting it out? No, then okay, maybe I shouldn't buy this year. Ultimately, it's a case-by-case -case situation with each person's risk tolerance, each person's affordability, and even each person's market. All right, third reason is if you're buying a home with intentions to sell quickly. Some people watching this are probably thinking like, wait, you're talking about flipping. Eh, kind of yes and no. When it comes to flipping, which you've guys seen some of my past videos of my flips that I've done before, when you're buying something, knowing that you're gonna flip it, you are buying it substantially below market value. You're buying something heavily discounted. Basically, you're making your money on the buy. If I'm gonna buy something with intentions to flip it, especially here in Hawaii, I need to buy it at least a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars below market value. That's what flippers do, that's how we make our money, is we buy things way below market value. But if you're not a flipper and you're just a normal buyer, which I feel like most people who are watching this are normal buyers, you're probably gonna be buying something at market value. With that being said, if you're buying something at market value and you have intentions to sell it quickly, maybe within a year, maybe two to three years, that might be bad and you might end up losing money. That's why I always say you should wait at least maybe like four years to sell if you're expecting some decent appreciation. It really just depends on your market. So unless you're getting a really, really, really great deal on the buy, do not buy real estate with intentions to sell it quickly. 
All right, fourth reason why you do not wanna buy real estate this year is if you're gonna be unhappy with the purchase. In other words, don't buy a home if you feel like you're gonna be settling for less and you're not gonna be happy living in it. Whenever I'm helping my clients and we're submitting offers, I try to get them the best deal possible and sometimes the seller is gonna send us a counter offer. When this happens and my clients are kinda of on the fence, I ask them, how much do you love this home? Do you even love this home or do you just like the home? If a higher price makes you just like the home, I wouldn't go for it. But if you love the home, regardless of the price, and you can afford it, then go for it. Yes, I do strongly believe that you should buy real estate as early as possible. The earlier you can get into the market, the better. Because you're essentially building wealth and getting into the game earlier. But I honestly would wait to buy something that I really love rather than settling for something okay. If you're able to wait, then having patience will make you so much happier in the future when you buy a home that you actually really love. All right, our fifth and last reason why you should not buy a home in 2023 is because of external pressures. What I mean by this is like, you know, you're kind of making yourself buy real estate because you're comparing yourself to maybe your friends or other people. Like sometimes you're thinking, oh, all my other friends are buying homes, I should buy a home too. Or maybe, you know, you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and they're like, hey babe, you know, we should buy real estate, we should buy a home together and move in together. Or maybe, you know, your parents, your parents are like, hey, you know, you should buy a home ASAP and, you know, get your life started, blah, 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 blah. No, do not do any of that. Buying a home is a big commitment mentally and financially. It is your money that you're putting on the line when you buy a home and it is your name that's kind of at risk when you're taking the loan. The only person that should be influencing you to buy real estate is you. Maybe you're just simply not ready to buy a home. Maybe you just wanna travel and you don't wanna put your roots anywhere and you just wanna be free. That is totally fine and that is totally okay. Don't let anyone else, any friends, parents, relationships, whatever, don't let anyone pressure you into buying if you do not wanna buy. So there you guys have it. That is five reasons why you should not buy a home this year in 2023. I hope now after watching this video, if you made it this far, that something clicked in your mind and you're like, yeah, I think I'm ready to buy. I'm gonna buy this year. Or, you know, you're like, hmm, yeah, I'm definitely not ready to buy real estate this year. If you are interested in buying real estate, especially here in Hawaii, go ahead and email me at contact at jeremymateohawaii.com and I'd love to help you get started. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time.